Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So today we want to talk about foods to avoid when you are pregnant. Last week we talked about all the foods, all the right foods you should be eating as a pregnant woman. Today we're going to be talking about the foods that you shouldn't go close to, the food that you should totally avoid when you are pregnant for the sake of you and your baby's health. <music> So during pregnancy, once you get pregnant, your immune system becomes distracted by your growing baby. Your immune system is what keeps you strong, it's what fights off bacteria and viruses, it keeps you strong and healthy throughout your lifetime. But once a baby comes in, your body is considering that baby as a foreign thing. Your immune system gets distracted because it has a lot to do now. It has to fight for you and fight for your baby. And because of that, from your first to third trimester, you are easily susceptible to illnesses. And these illnesses are caused by bacteria, viruses, or parasites that comes from food. Yes, from the foods that you eat. And not only can they make you sick, they can also cause serious problems for your baby, for your growing baby. They can lead to uh, preterm labor, that's early labor, and even miscarriages. And as a pregnant woman, most of the foods you eat or drink is passed on to your growing baby. So that is even more reason for you to be careful with what you put in your body. So I have seven groups of food that we will focus on today. And the first one is raw seafoods. Raw fish, raw shellfish, I'm talking about foods like sushi, sashimi, uh, oysters like raw oysters. Raw seafood in general contains bacteria and viruses that can make you sick. They have bacteria like salmonella, uh, listeria and a whole lot more and when they are eaten in their raw form they can cause you to be sick and that can also be harmful to the health of your developing baby. So if you must eat sushi, if you must eat any of this uh, any of these seafoods, you want to cook them until they are thoroughly cooked, until, until they are well done. Number two, you want to avoid eating high mercury fish. High mercury fish. Now, a lot of seafoods are high in protein and you know they can be beneficial to, to your health, but there are some, there are some seafoods, some fishes that you totally want to avoid during this period because they can be harmful to you and your baby's health. So I took my time to create a list of safe fish and unsafe fish uh, to avoid during this period. So for the safe fish, we have catfish, we have trout, we have hairy fish, we have light canned tuna, like tuna fish in a can, we have salmon, halibut, sardines, shrimp, tilapia, white fish, black sea bass, black sea bass, there's a type of sea bass that is considered not safe. So black sea bass, lobster, mahi mahi, and the last on my list is cod fish. In Nigeria, we call it stockfish. Stockfish, it is usually in the very dried form. Uh, so yeah, you can eat it dried or fresh. And all of these fish, you can eat them dried, roasted, fresh, whatever, but just make sure they are cooked, make sure they are well cooked. Now for the unsafe fish, the fish you don't want to eat throughout this period, whether they are dried, uh, fresh, smoked, these are the fishes to avoid. You want to avoid eating big eye tuna. Another one is king mackerel. King mackerel, now the regular type of mackerel is safe, but king mackerel is not safe. Another one is swordfish, shark, tilefish, ahi, albacore, marlin, sea bass, sea bass. I told you black sea bass is safe, but any other kind of sea bass, not safe. Bluefish, grouper, and orange roughy orange roughy. Some of these fish, I don't even know them. I've never seen them. Even if I see them, I don't know what they look like. Uh, so maybe you can use Google to just, you know, to just look for what these fishes look like so that when you go to the store, you know not to buy them. And if they are labeled, that makes it easy for you. Just avoid them if you see them, you know, in your stores. Now these fishes are considered to have high mercury high mercury which can be damaging to your baby's uh, visual and cogn uh, cognitive development, your baby's brain and eyes. You want a baby that's well formed, well developed. So you want to avoid eating this fish and there's a whole range of safe fish for you to eat. Okay, before I go on to my next point, let me just say this. It is very important for you to always cook your seafood thoroughly. Whether it's shrimp, lobster, 
uh, fish whatever kind of fish or seafood you are cooking make sure to cook it thoroughly to get rid of any kind of bacteria or parasite that it may contain cook your fish until you know it is firm until the shells have fallen off the skin and uh, yeah so that is something that you should have at the back of your head another one is unpasteurized dairy unpasteurized dairy products so in general unpasteurized products can lead to infections like listeria which is got it from contaminated foods and examples of these foods are raw milk like unpasteurized milk uh, unpasteurized cheese like soft cheese unpasteurized yogurts uh, even some juice like unpasteurized juice so these are foods that you want to totally abstain from if you see any packets where it says unpasteurized make sure to read the nutrition if it says unpasteurized totally avoid those and go for go for the healthier options so you want to take milk like low fat milk low fat or non-fat milk we talked about this in my last video you can watch it to know the kind of milk you should be consuming as a pregnant woman number four is undercooked meat undercooked meat undercooked poultry undercooked eggs like meat poultry eggs that are not thoroughly cooked so as a pregnant woman you are at higher risk of food poisoning which is called food bone illness and the way your body reacts when you're pregnant to any kind of illness may be different from you know when you are not pregnant your body may react in a very bad way so you want to make sure your meat your beef your chicken your egg is properly thoroughly cooked until it is done protein from that you get from meats and fish and eggs is needed during pregnancy you need a lot of protein to build your cells so you need to make sure you are getting enough protein but you also want to make sure that these protein rich foods are well cooked i'm still talking about undercooked meats another type of meat you want to avoid are daily meats daily meat those ones we call lunch meats like your um, hot dog salami so those type of meats that are already made in the packets you just buy it put it in your bread and you start eating those type of meats are usually not fully cooked you can recook them you can put them in your oven and cook them until they are fully done other than that make sure to avoid meats like that never ever 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 eat unwashed fruit and vegetables no matter how hungry you are you have to slow down and wash your fruits and vegetables and wash them thoroughly so i usually use uh, white vinegar and baking soda to wash my fruits you can use either or you can use both if you don't have those you can just use salt yes salt has some ingredients in it that can help to kill bacteria so you can put your fruits and vegetables in water add some salt leave it there for about a minute and then rinse it off and also make sure your vegetables are thoroughly cooked the next one on my list is caffeine caffeine it can be in your coffee in your sodas in your chocolate so during this period you want to reduce the amount of caffeine you take limit your caffeine intake caffeine can be passed on to your baby from you it can go straight to your baby but the effects of caffeine on a baby that's a developing baby is not fully known you know researches needs to be done on this topic so during this period you want to limit your caffeine intake and if you're somebody that loves to take her coffee you can take at least one to two cups a day what is recommended is 200 milligrams 200 milligrams is what is considered safe but i will always advise you to please ask your doctor to know what is safe for you and you can also take some teas there are some teas that are that are considered safe or to take as a pregnant woman uh the first on my list is ginger tea i always take my ginger tea in my first trimester it helps to reduce nausea another one is raspberry leaf tea raspberry leaf tea this one i only took it in my third trimester to help me induce labor so please ask your doctor before you start taking any of these teas another one is peppermint tea this can be taken uh, throughout your pregnancy another one is lemon tea these are four teas that are considered safe to take as a pregnant woman but please please consult your doctor before you start taking any of this herbal tea researches need to be done on it because you know there's not enough evidence to show whether it can affect you or your baby or not and the last one on my list is alcohol you want to avoid drinking alcohol so excessive drinking of alcohol as a pregnant woman can lead to fatal alcohol syndrome this is a condition that causes a baby's face to be deformed and also to have low intelligence you want your baby to be intelligent and smart you want your baby to be fully formed fully developed before they come out so alcohol is not something for you it can also lead to miscarriages and stillbirth 
So alcohol is not something you want to play with. You want to joke around with when you are pregnant. You can drink some juice, you can drink some tea, you can drink water. These are healthier choices uh, to keep you hydrated. So these are some list of foods that you want to avoid during this period. If you are already eating foods like this, please do not freak out. Just go to your kitchen, get rid of them, or don't cook them, don't touch them anymore. You can cook them for anybody else in the house, but you don't have to eat foods like this. I remember one time I ate, with my first pregnancy, I was eating some kind of, I can't remember, but there was this fish I was eating, and I talked to my friend who is a nurse. I told her, oh, I was just craving this fish, and I went to the store and I'm eating it, and she was like, oh? This fish is not safe for you. I remember feeling like, okay, I need to throw up right now. You don't have to do that, okay? Now that you've gotten this information, you are gonna do the right thing. You're gonna make the right choice. And I know that as a pregnant woman, you know, sometimes we're always concerned about uh, if we're eating the right food, if we're getting the right calories and all of that. I already have a video for you. You can watch that video to see the amount of calories you should be getting and all the right types of food. You wanna eat foods that are rich in, in iron, in protein, in fiber, in whole grain, a lot of fruit and vegetables. And then cutting out all these foods that we've mentioned today from your diet can help you achieve a healthy pregnancy and of course a healthy baby. So that will be it for today's video. I hope you guys found this one helpful. If you did, then you already know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you found this helpful and let me know if you have any questions. I'll always try my best to answer. And subscribe to my channel if you are new here. My name is Nosa. I make videos like this and I, I, I hope that you, you like them. I hope they're helpful to you. Share this video to any woman around you who needs to see it. And thank you guys for always being here. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.